Hello there, my mums, and welcome to today's upper body and core. We are going to be starting off just with a little bit of mobility and a little bit of connection breath. So just in a comfortable seated position, let's just start to activate core and pelvic floor. And think about this when we're doing all of our core exercises today. So I like to do this from a seated position. I think it gives some of the best feedback. But if a seated position isn't the best for you, feel free to do this in all fours, lying on your side. We've done the connection breath a lot. So hopefully you feel confident in doing it. So we're going to inhale and fully relax the belly and allow our pelvic floor to relax. We're gonna exhale and lift through the pelvic floor. So thinking about lifting through the back passage, through the vagina, all the way up to the urethra or the pubic bone. And then inhale, you let it go. So we're gonna exhale and engage our muscles, E, E. Exhale, engage the pelvic floor muscles, engage the belly, inhale, you let go. Exhale, you're gonna lift through the pelvic floor muscles, draw the belly in, inhale, you let it go. Exhale, you engage the pelvic floor muscles, draw the belly in, inhale, let it go. Now we're gonna just do a 10 second hold. So when we're doing our 10 second hold, I want you to count out loud with me so that we know that you are not holding your breath while you're doing this. Ready? So let's go for it. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, you're lifting those pelvic floor muscles to as high as you can, drawing the belly in, and we're gonna count together and hold. One, two, three, still holding, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, let it go. So if you were starting to struggle with lifting the pelvic floor and holding on to it, or felt yourself kind of flickering, kind of losing sensation, unable to re-grip, go to as many seconds that you can comfortably manage, and then we're going to increase. Just like we increase the amount of time that we would hold the plank for, it's the same with your pelvic floor muscles. So if you only manage to get to five seconds, I want you to practice daily, just doing a five second hold, letting go, giving yourself some time to rest later on in the day, doing a five second hold, so that you can just build more of that stamina and more of that muscle bulk. Okay, and that endurance. All right, let's get into it. So let's just take it up and over, nice big stretch through the side, and then inhale, take it up, and then up and over. Nice big stretch through the rib cage, through the side of the body. One more on either side. Inhale, taking it up and over. And then inhale, taking it up and over the other side. Beautiful stuff. We are going to now round through the spine as if we're going to hit the opposite corner of the room. We're coming back to center. And then same thing, we're going to round through the spine, hit the opposite corner of the room. Good stuff. Same thing again, round through the spine, trying to reach the corner of the room. So this isn't a forward fold, it's just a rounding through the spine. So we're allowing that flexion to happen. Other side. Good. Now we're going to go for extension. We're going to think about hitting the other corner of the room, but backwards. So my right hand's coming behind me. My left is reaching over to the opposite corner. Yeah, nice. And then back, and then we're going this way. Left hand is slightly behind me. We're going to inhale. Try and open that chest, Biggie. Good. And then swap. We're going to do it one more time. And then final one. Inhale. And take it back. Beautiful stuff. Okay, coming on to your all fours position. Just a little bit of cat-cow, so just lining your shoulders and wrists up, spread the fingertips, imagine that your fingers are gripping onto the floor, point your elbow joints towards each other, just bring the chin and the neck back, check in between the knees that your toes are hidden behind your knees and your knees are right underneath your hips, not too close together, not too far apart. From there, you're just going to inhale and give me some cat-cow. Exhale, tuck and round, trying to articulate through the spine, vertebra by vertebra if you can. And on these cats, angry cats, I want you to let your head go and really drop the head, allow it to relax. On the inhale, try and stretch the neck as much as possible. One more time. 
Inhale. Beautiful stuff. Thoracic. So we're going to loop our left hand through the right. Exhale. See if you can get your shoulder onto the floor, twisting through the thoracic spine. As you inhale, you're going to look up, take the hips with you. Exhale, loop it through. Inhale, back up. I like to take my hips with me when I do this rather than locking the hips and just isolating the thoracic because it makes it a little bit easier. So what that means is I wouldn't move my hips. I would just try and open from here. But I feel like a lot of moms can't get that nice range and it really hurts in the back of the shoulder. We're going to loop through. Right hand is going to go through the left, looping it through. And then we're going to inhale and then come back up. We're going to come through and then inhale, coming back up. And then loop it through. And then last one, coming back up. Beautiful stuff. Okay, we only have two rounds of this today. So I want you to try, if you can, to do the harder version first. We're going to start off with our staggered push-ups. So that is knees are behind the hips. One arm is right in line with the shoulder. One is slightly in front. So if it was a clock face, it would be two o'clock and seven. <laughs> We're going to tuck the pelvis, keep the tummy tight. You're going to come down as low as you can, press back up. If you are very good at push-ups, you can go from a high plank position, coming down, pressing back up. Or if you're somewhere in between those two, you can go down, splat, knees, lift. Okay? You choose your variation. We are going to go for it. Are you ready? Off we go. Oh, we're going to alternate arms in between. Okay? Ready? Off we go. So, coming down, pressing back up, swapping arms. So I'm doing an exhale breath throughout all of it because I'm working with the intra-abdominal pressure for my diastasis. So choose a breath that feels good for you, that feels really supportive for you. And you want to think that your chest is going to hit the floor before your hips do. One more on either side. Nice stuff into our prone swims. This one we're gonna be lying on the floor, your forehead is on the ground. And we are going to squeeze the bum, squeeze the legs, see if you can take legs off, arms up, and then draw a circle with the arms, elbows, try and touch the floor, lift up as much as you can, undo that circle, coming back down. Eight reps, off we go. Exhale, squeeze your everything up, nice big circle, touch the elbows to the floor, Lift them up as high as you can. Undo that nice slow circle. And up. So if it feels like too much to take the legs off the floor, keep them on the floor so that you're not feeling it in your lower back because you want to be using the glutes and the core to help you do this. Try and touch. Lift up. Good. Four more reps. Exhale and lift. Rotate around. Try and touch, and back down. Three. Good mobility. Down. Up. Touch. Lift, and around. Up. This is the last one, I think. <laughs> down, back up. Good stuff. Alrighty. Whew. We're going to go for a side plank with a thread the needle. So you have the option to do this from, you have the option to do this from a bent knees position. So if we're doing it from that bent knees position, the arm is coming up and then you're trying to loop the arm through as much as you can without the hips driving up. Okay? So trying to keep the hips nice and level. If you have the ability, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna do it from a side plank position with the legs elevated. So you'll be here, 
You're going to loop through as much as you can and then back up. Okay, so you choose your variation. Three, two, one. Off we go. Recruit the core before we lift. So inhale, relax the tummy. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor and core. Coming up so you're nice and engaged. Exhale, draw that belly in even more. And then up. Go for control, not for speed. Two more. Ooh, good stuff. I hope that lower oblique, the one that's closest to the floor, the one with the stabilizing arm, really feels it. Okay. Other side. Ready? Three, two, one. Exhale, lift up. Recruit that core. You're trying to press up through that elbow and forearm as you're doing this, trying to keep the hips low. And as you can hear, doing that long exhale again. So every time I exhale, I'm recruiting more of my core. Two more. Last one. Good stuff. All righty. Inverse plank. So when we do this, fingertips are your choice. They can either be here, they can be out to the side, or they can be open, uh, pointing away from you. So today, I want to do it with my fingers pointing away so I can open my chest a bit more because we've got a lot of stuff where your fingers are like this and it can feel a little pinchy in the shoulder joint sometimes. So I'm going to face my palms away from me. My fingertips are pointing to the head of the mat. And when we're here, we're going to recruit before we lift up. Inhale, relax the tummy. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor and core. I'm going to drive my hips up, open my chest, feet down to the floor. We're holding this inverse plank. Nice and tall, lifting the hips, lifting the hips as high as you can. Pressing through the heels of the hands. Thinking about drawing ribs towards hips, open the chest. So if this is too much to hold, you're going to come down for me. You're going to recruit and then lift back up. Okay? So keep going. We're going to hold for about 10 to 20 more seconds, opening that chest, thinking about lifting that pelvic floor, really strong through the body, through the chest, through the core. Look down towards the belly button so that we know that that belly is engaged. We're not letting it relax. Drive those hips up. Three, two, one. Curl the spines, come down. Bum touches the floor, really good job. Okay, back into our staggered push-ups. Woo! So a nice thing you can do as well, if you're starting to feel a little bit, is to turn the hands inward slightly, like little bear paws. So when you're doing it, you're angled this way, rather than having the fingers pointing forwards. And sometimes that can be a little bit nicer because then the elbow naturally wants to go out that way. All right, we're gonna inhale, relax the tummy. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor and core. Hands in position, shoulders over the wrists. Off we go. One more, either side. Uh. Last one. Uh, yeah. uh, good stuff. All righty, into our swims. So now you have the option. You can either do the circle or you can come for your I, pull in, Y, pull in, T, pull in. Okay, ready? Bellies are on the floor. <clears throat> Inhale. Now exhale, engage the core. Lift the feet off if it's good. Lift the upper back. I pull in. Extend out to your Y. Pull in. T 
pull in. So we're trying to activate the lats. Coming down, reset. Exhale. Draw the belly in. Squeeze the bum. Lifting up. I. Elbows come in. Out to your Y. Elbows come in. Out to your Teague. Elbows come in. Reset. Exhale. Lift up. I. Thumbs to the ceiling. Y. T. Oh, I forgot to pull in. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, off we go. Lifting up for your I. Pull the elbows in. Y. Elbows in. T. Elbows in. And then down. All right, three more. Inhale. Exhale, engage. Thumb, legs, arms, I. Pull it in with the elbows. Y. Pull them in. T. Pull them in. Nice job. All right, two more. Exhale. Shoulder health is health. Y. T. It is posture. Uh, last one. Exhale. I. Pull it in. Y. Pull it in. T. Pull it in. And rest. Good stuff. Ooh, side planks with our thread the needles. Alrighty, three, two, one, lift off, okay, rotating round, and then back up, one, reach through as far as you can, good stuff, two more, lift those hips. Last one. Woo! Wee! Woo! It's a jazzy fizzle. Product shizzle. Alrighty, left side or other side. Woo! Engage the core before you lift up. Exhale lift through the pelvic floor. Off we go. Driving up. Exhale. Rotate. Last one. Beautiful stuff. Okay. Final in first. Stable drop. Okay. I'm going to try a different grip this time. I'm going to press my fingers facing forwards just to see how it feels. Alrighty. So inhale, exhale, draw the belly in, lifting up, hips as high as they can go. Open the chest, open the shoulders, lift the hips. You can either look upwards if it doesn't strain the neck or look down towards the belly so you get a little bit more of that abdominal connection. Like your rib cage and your hip bones are gonna touch each other. Open that chest, lift those hips. Really nice and strong. You was strong, mama. Or you're doing those lifts, those little intervals for me. Five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Good stuff. So proud of you. I will see you again tomorrow.